Hey YouTube, it's Love Chelsea and I'm back with another video. Um, this is my first time doing this video and I'm just trying out new products for y'all. Um, recently I was just getting tired of my foundation routine. I wanted a new eyeshadow palette. I wanted a new setting powder. I was tired of Airspun, which is drugstore powder. I was just tired of it. Um, it just kind of made me look like lighter, not even lighter, but it's like kind of like dry and white. And my skin, like, I don't know, I don't have dry skin, I have oily skin, but my skin's really weird lately, like, I don't know. But yes, I recently spent $101 at Sephora and like $32 or something, yeah, it was $32 or $40, somewhere around that, around that price, at Ulta. And, uh, I just wanted to, you know, show y'all, um, the items and what I think about them. And y'all are gonna see me put it on my face. So let's get right into the video. Earlier today, before um, I started making this video, I decided to try out this but <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. The Basia um, Detoxifying Black Cleanser. Um, I've heard a lot of things about it. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews about it on YouTube. So I was like, okay, it must be some good. Um, all you have to do is um, make sure that your face is wet or damp and just put it on here. I left mine on there for about 10 to 15 minutes. I was just folding it clothes while I left it on there. Um, and y'all, my skin is like very moisturized. I didn't put any lotion on it, no moisturizer, no cocoa butter, no coconut oil, um, none of that. And like legit y'all, my skin's moisturized. So yes, y'all should most definitely try this out. Um, this is what I got from Sephora. I didn't get this from anywhere else but Sephora. And it was only $10. I got it like, not even for the cash register. And it's like all those little things, all those little items around you. It was right there. I was like, oh, let me get this. Okay. So let's start. First, I'm going to use some tape. Yeah, I already know the routine. Put it on the sides of my eyes. So, y'all know that recently I have been, well, before this video, whatever, I've been using Airspun Powder and my LA Pro Girl Concealer to um, set my eyes. And I just have not been liking it. I feel like my eyeshadow has not been popping enough for me. So, I decided to try the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So, yeah. And this is the original formula. Let's just open it up. Okay, it's like this. And let's see. And it has a wand to it, which I like. It makes it easier to apply. So yeah, let's put it on. See how it is. Okay, I'm done. Um, I took this all the way up to my brow bone. Um, one thing I say, one thing I can say about it is that it dries very fast, so I do like that. It's kind of like a sticky texture, I guess. But um, let's see, like you know, does it make my eyeshadows look better? Do my eyeshadows stay on? Because I do work today at 5:30, and I'm just gonna keep this makeup on. I might take a nap. Don't judge me. It's gonna sleep with my head like that. But yes, I'm most definitely gonna keep this makeup on. Okay, what else? Um, I also got this from Ulta. This is the Tarte Pro palette. Well, Sephora, Ulta, whatever. Um, and let's open the Tarte, the Tartis, Tartis Pro palette. It's the Amazon clay palette. Okay, the first thing I noticed is that um, you get this little thing. I guess it shows you different eye looks. I like that. It has like eight of them. Yeah, eight. Hmm, cool. Let's open it up. Okay, this is what it looks like. It looks very nice. Hmm, I'm excited. Alright, um, I guess these you can I'm sorry that I keep on hitting this freaking lamp. But anyways, um I guess you can oh each well each row is a different look. 
so I do like that you know if you don't feel like thinking of anything you can just go ahead do whatever you gotta do and dip hmm I don't know what color I don't know which one I want to do you know I don't know what I want to do I think I kind of want to go for like a pink look today I don't know kind of like a summertime look so I'm just gonna take this brush and hmm I'm gonna go in with whimsy I'm gonna use it as a transition shade and it picks up very well. Um, I do notice my eyeshadows are going on very easily with this eyeshadow primer. Alrighty, so there you go. You can actually see it. That makes me happy. And I can see it on this mirror. Which is a nice big one. I like that. But um, yeah, you can actually see it. So this eyeshadow primer is doing me some good right now. Okay, what's the next color I want to use? I think I want to go in with the mod right here. And also put that in my crease. Loving this eyeshadow primer, y'all. You can literally see like everything. It's lit. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with hmm, the color drama. And I'm gonna put that on the outside of my crease just to darken it up a little bit. Right, we're getting somewhere we are okay now I'm going to take the go the color vamp and I'm going to put that on the outside of my lid towards the tape I said it's gonna be like more of a pink tutorial, but really it's like pink, purple, all that great stuff. Alright, what do I want to use next? The only thing that I can say with these eyeshadows in this palette is that they are very pigmented and they show right up. And I like that a lot because I mean that's what you need. Like that's great. Because you're kind of getting your money's worth. Well, you are getting your money's worth for sure, and early kind of, you are getting your money's worth. So I keep on reaching back and stuff. I just, literally, I did not plan this out. I just knew what colors I wanted to use. Alright, um, instead of reaching in another palette, I'm just going to continue with this palette, and I'm going to use this Minix, Mi Mix, Minix, <laughs> I don't even know. Now I'm going to put that on my lid. Mm. 
This is really pretty, y'all. I am liking this. Yes, Chelsea. Yes. You did that. It's kind of like a night vampy look, kind of. But I mean, you know, you can wear it in the daytime too. Who cares? It's cute. Alright, I'm feeling it. <laughs> it's lit. Alright, now I need to come up with a highlight shade. I think I'm going to just keep it simple. I said highlight shade for my eyebrow bone. I can't think right now, y'all. I really can't think. Um, hmm. What are we going to use, y'all? I'm just going with my black radiance contour palette and just use their highlight. Let's see how that looks. Alright, that's cute. I like it. Alright, now on to the face. Okay, I'm back. Um, off camera, I ended up putting on some black eyeliner. It wasn't a wing eyeliner because I don't know how to do that. Well, I do, but I'm just not good at it, so I didn't even try. Um, black elf eyeliner, and I just put on my Ardell Demi Wispies. Okay, now let's get to the face. Okay, I do not have to moisturize my face because that little Bossia whatever mask literally did the job for me. And yeah, so, okay. We're going to use the Professional. I just got this probably like two weeks ago or so. And I've used it. And it actually does work. But I want to show y'all that it works. Um, but yeah, the Professional Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. And it's by Benefit. And let's see what's up. Okay, one thing that I did notice about this um, pore filler or whatever um, is that it actually does work. Um, well, the first time I used it, I felt like it worked. Now, I don't know. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting used to the way it looks, maybe. And that's why I kind of feel like, okay, we're, I don't know. We're not getting anywhere slightly. I don't know. Maybe I'm just used to it. We'll see. I should put my makeup on. Alrighty, now I'm going to take my LA Pro Girl corrector and correct my face. And I'm going to go wet my beauty blender and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm back with my wet um, beauty blender. This is my real techniques. It's kind of, it's not even dirty, y'all. It's just stained really bad. But yeah, now I'm going to blend this orange corrector in. Alright, remember how I told you I was tired of using the same foundation? I just wanted something new. Um, so the woman at Sephora recommended this to me. This is a Lancome. Um, 24 hour makeup and it says wear in comfort retouch free makeup divine perfection and it's for all skin types so it's for um oily skin and dry skin or in between normal skin okay it says it should last up to 24 hours not that great stuff it's oil free fragrance free transfer resistant and it's also been tested on sensitive skin i have sensitive skin so that's good um, what else? And the color that I got was 500 suede. Or that suede really color. Or whatever. But yeah, 500 suede. Is 
that it comes off just a little top I'm just gonna pump some of this on the back of my hand and it is buildable remember the woman tell me that so let's see how it is okay one thing about it is different from my NARS matte foundation oh my god I keep on doing that but it's different from my NARS matte foundation um it's low-key it's kind of watery I'm not even watery I don't know um I've been using my NARS foundation for such a long time but let's see Okay, one thing I can say about this foundation is that um, I guess it being watery actually does help because it blends very easily. Um, and I like that. It actually covers up all of my dark spots. So that is most definitely a plus. Um, it is kind of darker than my matte foundation, but I feel like this actually matches my skin tone. I feel like the other foundation by NARS did not really. It was kind of too light for me. But I mean, overall, I'm liking this. Um, it does let me look a little bit, I feel like kind of like shiny in a way. I don't know, but whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna take my um, LA Pro Girl Toffee Concealer and I'm just gonna um, conceal my face. Okay, I feel like that concealer and this land comb foundation is a great combination. Um, yeah, I am liking this. Okay, okay, y'all, I've been so excited to use this. Okay, remember I told y'all I was tired of looking white for my air spun powder, my drugstore air spun powder. Oh, it got me some Laura Mercy A, honey, Laura Mercy A setting powder, and this is the new one. This is the medium deep for us, you know brown skin girls us dark skin girls out here I am too excited to try it all right let's see take off the little thing all right I'm just gonna use this Real Techniques Wet Damp Beauty Blender on that. I'm gonna dab it in here. I'm like, it picks up just so like, ooh, I'm so excited. I'm set my eyes. Y'all, it's so smooth. I like that, it's very smooth. put on too <laughs> I didn't put too much on my nose as that always happened to me all oh, and it got on my shorts too dang
Okay, what I love about this setting powder is that it's so it goes on so smoothly. Like it's just like it's a different type of feeling from the airspun powder. Like it's very like smooth and just I have no clue. I'm just not like I'm not nervous about a flashback at all. Wow. That, this is a great feeling, y'all. This is a great feeling. Okay, now I'm going to go in on a black radiance palette. Contour palette, which I already know. Take my contour brush and I'm gonna contour this face up. My contour is a little bit like harsh on this side like this this side of my face like for once the left the left side of my face is my favorite like that's weird to me okay now I'm gonna go back in with my new favorite powder this Laura Mercy a setting powder and I'm just gonna set my whole face Now it's time to take off the rest of it. I don't keep mine on for too long because some setting powders that seem to dry my face out. But this one has not. I probably could have kept it on there for longer. But I'm not tripping. Wow, I'm loving this. Like, I just feel like I look like a different person. Like, wow. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm going to use the highlight in here as I always do to highlight my face. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with my Tarte palette. And I think I'm gonna smoke out my under eye. But I think I'm gonna use probably Drama, just this color right here. Have it. Maybe I'll put some more highlight. Like, I don't know. It was cute though. Okay, anyways, now onto the lippy. After I'm over here looking at myself being kind of, you know, conceited, low key, I'm gonna pull the NYX lingerie 
lippy in the color embellishment. Okay, I went ahead and put the lip liner on off camera. And now I'm just gonna swatch this in the back of my hand for y'all so I can see how it looks. Ooh, this is the perfect color for this look. Uh-oh, I can't really see it. So it's like a purple look. It looks lighter on camera than it does in person, which is weird. like this hmm. okay now I'm gonna go in with my NYX dewy finish I probably should get matte next time instead of dewy finish I don't know why I did that but yeah Oof. least here apart and that is it for the makeup tutorial y'all Oh, y'all see? <laughs> oh, Lord.